All right, we're going to go ahead and get started this evening. Um, this is Mary Beth Gable from the Student Doctor Network, and we'd just like to thank everybody, first off, for joining us for this evening's webinar um, on how to reduce your medical student loan debt. Uh, tonight we're going to hear from Common Bond, which is a leading lender that focuses on student loan refinancing and financial wellness education. They also help young medical professionals save money on their medical student loan debt, and they partner with healthcare organizations to offer this benefit to their doctors. So tonight we're going to discuss the different options for paying off your medical school. school excuse me, medical school debt, and uh, which option makes the most sense and is going to save you the most money depending upon what point you're at in your career. Uh, we're also going to talk about how to just reduce your medical student loan debt um, long term. So th this evening, I would like to go ahead and introduce Karen Ganellis of Carm Common Bond, who's going to go ahead and start us off. Thank you so much, Mary Beth. Hi, everyone. Um, hope everyone had a great day. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Uh, so we are here to demystify medical school debt, which sounds like a really scary thing, but hopefully by the end of this presentation, you'll feel like you have a better handle on everything and you'll know where you stand and how to move forward. Um, a bit about me, I am a customer success manager. I've been on the Common Bond operations team for about a year and a half now. Uh, I help field people's questions every day about their loans. So if you have a question about your loan, chances are I've heard it before and I can help you through it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about anything else, we will get through that at the end here. So here we go. All right, so what are we gonna discuss? Here's our agenda. First off, we'll talk a bit about Common Bond so you can get to know who we are as a company and what we stand for. Then we'll move on to some more specific information for you, specifically for doctors, what options you have for paying back your loans and what makes the most sense. And lastly, we'll get to refinancing, um, which is what we do here at Common Bond. And if it makes sense for you, we definitely uh, would be happy to help with that. So first off, you're not alone. As we like to say here at Common Bond, you're not alone with us, which has a double meaning, right? Because it's you're not alone, but also you're not just alone. We know you're a person. We know you're a person who's scared of all this debt. We know that um, we're real people too. So actually, if you start an application with us, you'll see my face all over the site. So I'm a real person, you're a real person. We value your time and we wanna make you understand that uh, although we know student loan debt can be, feel overwhelming, we're here to get you through it. There's a lot of questions, right? If you don't work in the financial industry, there's a lot of terms that come up. You know, there's ICR, PSLF, IBR, you've got all those words there. And uh, they can be pretty scary, but we're gonna demystify them throughout this presentation. So we're here to help you understand your student loan repayment options. And first off, why are we doing this? Who are we? What is Common Bond? What is this company? So we're a consumer lender focused on refinancing student loans, and we, on average, save doctors $30,051. So that is on average. That's on an average uh, student loan balance for a doctor of about 176000 So that's a pretty good chunk of change. I'm sure everyone would like to save $30,000. We're a provider of wellness education, and by wellness, we mean financial wellness. Since you're doctors, we'll let you guys handle the physical wellness, um, but we create blogs, articles, guides, and we host events. Uh, we host events on site in our office in New York City. We also host webinars like the one that you're attending or listening to right now to help people with their financial wellness and gain control over their finances. Not just regarding student loans, we do um, lots of other articles about different aspects of the financial world since we know there's a lot of information out there and we want to make it uh, as easy as possible to understand. And we're a FinTech leader with a social mission. So our social mission is we have a one-for-one -one model. Um, so for every loan that we fully fund, we donate an education to a child in the developing world through an organization called Pencils of Promise. 
So we've actually donated um, to help build schools all uh, in Ghana, and we actually just sent our CEO along with a few people who have refinanced their loans with us, a few of our members, and a few members of the Common Bond team here over to Ghana about two weeks ago to check out one of the schools that they built recently, um, get a warm welcome from the community. So it's nice to know that you know paying off your student loans can actually go to help someone else as well. But enough about us, that's not why you're here. You want to know about your student loans. So let's get to it. Your career path dictates which loan repayment option you choose. So depending on your career path after med school, there are different repayment options that make the most sense for you individually. Okay, so if you are a resident or fellow who's still working on a smaller income, I know a lot of residents and fellows can be on a $50,000, $60,000 income, one option is to keep your loans in forbearance. So typically uh, the loans that you have from your current lender have some sort of period of forbearance and you need to check with your current lender um, to confirm exactly how much you have. But essentially this is a period of time where you don't need to pay your loans. Uh, interest does continue to accrue though, so it doesn't help you pay off your loans. It's essentially just putting off the loan payment for even longer. So you should only use that if you really need to. Now, income-based repayment is a form of repayment plan where the monthly payment is set to match your income and your cost of living, keeping your student loan payments affordable. So it's something you need to kind of re-up each year um, where your loan servicer will look at all that information about you and determine what the uh, appropriate amount of your income should be going towards your loans. And then these other um, terms underneath, uh, income contingent repayment, pay as you earn repayment plan, revised pay as you earn repayment plan, these are all uh, different variants of an income-based repayment plan. So they all just have different uh, criteria and different options that they offer. If that's something that you're interested in, you need to reach out to your current loan servicer to see what's available to you. Uh, and then if you're a practicing physician, standard repayment means that, let's say you took out loans for your, you know, your med school education, and then you come out and you start making the payments on those loans as you were supposed to. So standard repayment plans are usually about 10 to 15 years. Uh, and the interest rates can vary. So it just means sticking with your current plan, making those monthly payments each month based on the principal and interest that accrues each month, and just sort of paying your way along as you would have. Extended repayment plans just kind of stretch out the standard repayment. So that's something that might be offered to you if, for example, um, you wanted to go from like a 10-year plan to a a 15 or a 20 year plan. It's something that again, oh, there we go. Just adjusting here. Can everyone see everything on the screen? And I just see a question asking if this is being recorded. Yes, this is being recorded, so you'll be able to watch it again uh, and also ask any questions that you have at the end and ask me any questions as well uh, via email. But uh, so as I was saying, extended repayment plans will stretch out your payment. Public service loan forgiveness, this is a good one, right? Loan forgiveness sounds good. So public service loan forgiveness is when you make uh, minimum monthly payments for 10 years on your current loans, and then after 10 years of payments, the rest of your balance is forgiven. This only applies in certain situations, uh, and I'll get to those later on. Refinancing, so that's what we do here. Refinancing. Uh, is when you, essentially we would take over your loan, we'd pay off your old loans and issue you a new loan under us with a lower interest rate. So that's what we do here at Common Bond. This is best if you're planning to go into private practice or work at a for-profit organization. Uh, if you're working for a nonprofit, public service loan forgiveness is definitely the way to go. All right. Okay, so what do all these options mean for you? So let's take, for example, John. He's a gastroenterologist. 
he had 176,000 in total loans. So John, like many physicians, he went into forbearance while he was uh, in medical school and in residency, so he didn't need to make payments while he was on that lower income. Then, once he came out of residency and he started his job, he went with a standard repayment plan. So by doing that, you can see that he accrued $196,000 in interest over the 10-year life of his loan. That's a lot of money. So he took out a $176,000 loan, and with the way that his payment plan worked and his interest rate, he ended up accruing $196,000 in interest. So what about public service loan forgiveness? That sounds pretty good, right? Well, of course, there are some strings. So public service loan forgiveness forgives the remaining balance on your direct loans after you've made 120 qualifying monthly payments under a qualifying repayment plan while working full time for a qualifying employer. So that's a lot of qualifying. So 120 qualifying monthly payments means you make 120 payments in a row. You make the full payment. You don't you know, miss your payments. You don't underpay, you make that full payment that you're supposed to make 120 times. A qualifying repayment plan usually refers to some sort of income-based repayment plan. And while working for a qualifying employer, uh, a qualifying employer is a non-for-profit employer. And here's some more information about that. So people that are employed at government organizations at any level, federal, state, local, or tribal, uh, anyone working for a non-for-profit organization that is tax-exempt, and any other non-for-profit organizations that can provide certain types of public, uh, qualifying public services. So you should check with your current loan servicer if you believe that you might be eligible for public service loan forgiveness to set that up, because that's definitely your best option if you're planning on going into the not-for-profit world or the government world. All right, so what about refinancing? Well, that's where common bond comes in. Refinancing means we pay off your existing loans. We physically send a check over to your current servicer, whether it's a Navient or FedLoan or Nelnet, Great Lakes. We send them a check. We erase your loan with them. We issue you a new loan under us and you get a lower interest rate, so that way you save money in the long term on those large interest payments. You won't end up paying that, you know, what we had John before had 196000 in interest, so we want to try to avoid that. So what are the benefits of student loan refinancing? Well, the major one is savings. On average, doctors save $30,051 over the life of their loan. Again, you know, that is not chump change. That's a serious bit of cash. Um, ease. So if, for example, you took out a lot of loans from different servicers, different times, different years, if you took out two loans each year, you've got monthly payments on this day, you've got lots of monthly payments, it gets confusing. So you can consolidate all of your loans into one monthly payment with us. Protections. So we have the same kind of protections that federal loans offer, uh, where we offer forbearance if, for example, you were to lose your job or you know, that you experience some sort of economic hardship, an unexpected financial burden. What we can do is we can put your loan payments on hold for up to 24 months total over the life of your loan. And you won't need to make payments during that time. Interest does continue to accrue. But of course, we want to work with you to help lessen any financial burden that you're under. If you decide to go back to school and get another degree, we can also defer payments of your loan during that time for up to 32 months. And that's for any kind of degree. As long as you're enrolled half time with the, at least half time with the school, we can defer your payments. Relationship. So I often hear people call me and they say, oh, my lender's been so difficult, I can't get to anyone on the phone, and when I do, they don't know what I'm talking about. You know, you go through lots of levels of management. It gets really frustrating. So at Common Bond, you know, we want to be a lender that you trust and can grow with. 
you can call us. I am answering the phones. I'm one of the many um, great people that are answering the phones here. And you call us. You don't have to press any button to get to a real person. You just automatically get to a real person that cares and wants to help you with your loan. So how does Common Bond refinancing help you save? We use technology and data to get to know you. So we look at a lot of different factors in your background, like your income, your credit history, your earnings potential, your education, uh, location, employment, and many more. And we give you a rate based on all those factors because we know you've worked hard and we believe that you're more credit worthy than the government initially gave you credit for. So that way, we can give you a lower rate. So for example, typical federal government grad plus loans are at a rate of 7.21%. The average rate for doctors that refinance with Common Bond is 4.36%. That's the average rate. So that's a savings of $30,051, as I mentioned before, on a loan balance of $176,000. Now, if you wanted to go with our 10-year variable rate, a variable rate offers uh, the flexibility of it being tied to a measure called one-month LIBOR. Essentially, it's a, a measure of the economy. It can go up or down, but uh, because it it's a, offers a bit more risk, the rates are pretty low right now since that rate can change. But right now, you could get a common bond 10-year variable rate at 2.94%. And that would save you $44,162. So again, we have lots of different options you can choose from, from five years all the way up to 20 years, fixed rates and variable rates. And you can find the one that works best for you. But typically, you're going to find one that has a lower rate than your current government loan. So let's look at John again here. So John, you know, his loan total amount when we last looked, based on that $176,000 loan balance, that loan was costing him $328,000 over the life of that loan. If he refinanced with Common Bond, we would save him money and it would, it would cost him $296,000 instead. So obviously for John, it would be a better option to refinance rather than sticking with his old government loan. Great. So if you want to understand your rate, or if you have any questions, it's super easy. Uh, the best way to get started and to see your rate is to go to commonbond.co slash SDN, and that's a special website for you guys. The process is really quick. It really only takes about five minutes to fill in the information. We're just going to ask you um, for your education, your income, your address. And then the first part of the application does a soft credit inquiry. So it doesn't ding your credit. And we're able to give you pretty accurate estimates of what your rate would be just from that soft credit inquiry. There's no cost to refinance. There's no fees at all. There's no prepayment penalties if you take out a 10-year loan and you know suddenly win the lottery and want to pay off that whole loan, or you get a bonus and you want to put it towards your loan. Feel free to do that. That's totally fine. Um, so, you know, there's really no risk to apply and at least see what you'd be eligible for. And if you have any other questions, feel free to type them into that chat box there. Uh, if you look in your webinar here, there should be a chat, bo chat box where you can add in questions, and I'd be more than happy to answer them now. Just going to wait a few moments to see if we have any questions coming in. And also, Mary Beth uh, mentioned this is going to be sent out. The webinar is being recorded, and it will be sent out if you want to go over the information again. Yes, Karen. We're we're actually going to go ahead and put that up um, in the next couple of days on our YouTube, and we will send that out via the SDN social media um, just so that everybody can find it. Awesome. Oh, looks like we've got a question here.
from Nadia. Okay, great question. So our first question, is common bond refinancing only available for doctors after medical school? No, um, we can refinance loans for anyone that has received a bachelor's degree or higher. So if you have friends that have a bachelor's degree or friends from law school, business school, anything, anyone that's received a bachelor's degree or higher, feel free to send them our way and they can use that link to commonbond.co slash SDN. Um, we can refinance loans for anyone that has that bachelor's degree. So uh, even if you haven't finished your um, med school degree, that's fine. If you don't have loans from your bachelor's degree, but you do have loans from a degree you haven't finished yet, that's fine too. As long as you finish that bachelor's degree, we can refinance loans from any degree that you have or have started. Uh, the next question is, what about graduate school loans? Uh, yeah, that's totally fine as well. As long as you have that first bachelor's degree, we can refinance loans from any type of program, bachelor's, master's, graduate, PhD, anything like that. All right. Great. Well, if we don't have any other questions, um, again, my name is Karen. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. If you think of anything later or want to reach out to me personally, you can email sdn at commonbond.co. Again, that's sdn at commonbond.co. That email will go directly to me, and then I'll be able to answer your question. But thanks so much, everyone, and have a great evening.